Yo, what is going on guys? It is DSG or Kamesh today with another MLB The Show 21 video and today we're going to be talking about how to get stubs right now in MLB The Show 21. In case you guys did not know, here on the channel I give you guys a lot of no money spend methods uh, pretty much for every sport game I play, uh, whether it's Madden, MLB, or you know anything else that I'll play in the future. I give you guys no money spend methods on every single game that I play. So um, you know if you're looking for some no money spend tips, this is the place to be. Alright? As always, if you guys ever have any questions on what I talk about in today's video, make sure you leave a comment down below, and I'll answer your comment as soon as possible, all right? So uh, we're going to jump into this. I'm just going to, you know, we're going to go through our little tutorial here, and then uh, at the end of the video, we'll do shout-outs, talk about the channel a little bit, and that'll be that. So let's, let's just get into this now. So uh, the first thing I want to talk about with making stubs, and it's literally the best way to get stubs right now, and it's so easy to do. It's so easy to do. I can't stress this enough how easy it is, all right? Just go play these Team Affinities, alright? I'm going to show you guys how to beat these Team Affinities fast really quickly. I might go over it in a different video, uh, more in depth, but really quickly how to get these done fast. So, the first thing you want to do is go to Conquest and just complete each one of these Conquests. So, Central Team Affinity 2, West Team Affinity 2, and uh, East Team Affinity 2. So, go finish those now. You're going to get 30 stars for each one. Uh, so, te technically like 60 stars for each program. Or, you know, 30 stars for each program right off the bat, just from doing those. So you'll have all of these at 30 stars, alright? So, there's also hidden rewards on the Conquest map. So, like, there's packs on the map, stubs, XP, all that stuff on the map. So, you're already getting rewards from that. And you're getting so many packs, man. So many packs on each one of these programs. It's, a like, it's nuts. It's actually crazy. So, uh, go get these done, because you're getting a lot of rewards from that. You can sell everything from those packs, you know, like the um, the bonus I have packs in the Team Affinity packs, and they have, they have pretty good odds. So I'd recommend you guys go do those. Uh, you're getting these as well. These don't really do anything good for you, but um, I did get a diamond from a bonus I have pack last night. I got Corey Seager, which only goes to like seven thousand, but it's stubs. You can't complain. It's stubs. So uh, yeah, I would go ahead and go go do these. All right. Great way to make a lot of stubs. Great way to make a lot of stubs. And you're getting some really good players. I recommend you guys do the AL East first. Because uh, there are some, like, in my opinion, the best cards are in the AL East. But honestly, you can't really go wrong with doing any of them. Because there's good players all around, all around the board. So uh, go get these done. It is worth your time. I promise you. It's worth your time. Alright? So go do that. The next thing you guys want to do. Alright? Is uh, try to get this inning program done. Alright? It ends in four days. I finished the entire thing. Um, basically just grinding the game. I've almost finished all these missions. That was a big part of this. Finished all of these. So both conquests, showdown. Uh, only daily missions I really do are the exchange ones. Alright. That's all, that's all I really do. That's all I really need to do. Collections. This is the biggest part, in my opinion, of why I got this done this time. I completely maxed out the program. Well, it's because I did almost all of the collections. Alright, and they're not that hard to do. You just, uh, you get these Team Affinity cards that just came out. Which does not take anything at all. By the time you play just one game of Conquest, or uh, one Conquest map, you finish one map, right? You will have this done. So that's 35,000 XP uh, for your program. Alright, and you're getting three pretty good cards. So, uh, all you have to do is collect three of the Legends and Flashbacks from Team Affinity Season 2. Only three of them, which is super easy. So, go, go ahead and go do that. It's worth it. Alright, so that is that. Uh, I collected the Rookies. Super easy. Um, most of you guys will probably have 15 rookies if you don't. Uh, there's plenty of ways to get rookies in this game just by playing Team Infinity. Alright. Uh, and like Showdown and all that stuff. So, there's that. I got the Fred McGriff and the Bruce Suter, which I'll talk about how you guys can get those cards right now. So, go over to, go over to Programs, Player Programs, and you just complete these two right here. What I did was I just did the moments, finished all the moments, and then I just did one mission. So, for Bruce Sitter, I did 15 strikeouts with relief pitchers. So that was that. And I got this program done. And then for the Fred McGriff, I did uh, three home runs with Padres, which was, they were all from Gary Sheffield. So I got that done through that. And I just did all the moments. So you get, what is that, 70,000 XP right there for the, seven, or for the second inning program, just from those two programs alone. So I recommend you guys go do that. It is worth your time. All right, and I didn't finish either one of these, um, or any th any three of these, because I these two take way too long to do. In the Giambi, I don't need this card. I'm not going to grind it, and it's only 5,000 XP. Not worth my time. So that's that. 
uh, a lot of XP from that. And that's really all I did. Um, I got a lot of my XP, like in-game XP, from Showdown. I, I've still been grinding the heck out of Showdown, day in and day out. Oh, at least when I have time to. I don't. I don't really play every single day. I do play every day, but not not very long every day. Um, so I recommend you guys go do that if you're also trying to make some stubs. This is like the freest thing you will ever get in a video game. It is like so free, so easy to do. You need to do your daily moments. I still need to do my daily moment for today. Uh, uh, you know, I haven't not done that yet. But listen, you do your daily moments, you get this Gary Sheffield. Alright, super easy to do. Crazy thing is, I'm going to be one of the first people to give him the Parallel 3 today. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, be maybe in the first 100 people in the world to get this Parallel 3. So, looking forward to that. Uh, get this card, guys. It's a good card. He has a really good swing, in my opinion. Absolutely destroys lefties. He's pretty good against righties, too. This guy's worth your time. I know he's not a good fielder. Thing is, he hasn't made one error for me yet. And I do have, I have plenty of online attributes with him. Uh, if I go over here to Diamond Dynasty... This is online stats. All right, this is online. And these these uh, stats here are on, are on All-Star and Hall of Fame. So, you know, fairly high in the difficulties. All right, he's batting 426. He's only struck out twice. He's struck out twice, guys. That, that That's crazy. In uh, 47 at-bats, he has struck out twice. So that's really good. Um, let's see, how many home runs does he have? Four home runs, not bad. Uh, 20 hits. You know, batting 426, this guy is really good, all right? The thing I need to give you advice for is the way his stance is. Um, this is just a quick tip here. Don't swing at inside pitches unless you have two strikes. For some reason, he just does not hit inside pitches. Anything on the outside part of the plate, he destroys. So just a little tip for you guys. But with this program, you're getting a lot of packs along the way, uh, stubs along the way, and, um, you know, it's, it, this is worth your time because these, shot, these uh, moments every day take, like, practically no time to do. So go do these. Um, another way to get some easy stubs is through ranked seasons, as you can see right here. Just quick stubs along the way. Uh, you're getting XP from these games. You can sell these cards. However, I would hold on to them just for now and then sell them a little later because they'll go up in price a little later. So just another little tip for you guys there. Um, let's see. What else? What else? Now, this, okay. I think I made, from the last roster update, I made around 37,000 stubs. Uh, and here's what I did uh, with Jose Iglesias. In case you guys don't know what roster updates are, they basically just update like the players' uh, overalls. And if you buy cards when they're like a silver, which is what I did, I bought this Jose Iglesias when he was a 79 overall, and I bought about 30 of these. I bought about 30 or 40 Jose Iglesias cards, and I made. Then I, I waited. I bought him when he was a silver, right? So I bought him for about 300 stubs. And then I just quick sold him when he went up to a diamond. I mean, when he went up to a gold. So, uh, gold's quick sell for a thousand. So I bought him for three hundred, sold him for a thousand, and I did that about thirty times. So I bought thirty silver Jose Iglesias cards uh, for three hundred stubs, right? And then when he went up to a gold, I sold all thirty of those cards for a thousand. So I made about, I made about, you know, somewhere in the twenty thousand range. Uh, stubs, so definitely worth your time. All right, uh, you know, just look for someone who's doing good in real life, and you know, it's maybe they might be going up in overall. A great example of that is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, the guy started out as a silver, and now he's an 86 overall because he's absolutely raking. All right, so just something you guys want to look out for. What I would recommend doing, I do watch the Cubs, so this is like the team I can give you the most insight on. Um. I don't really, I can't really see any guys from the Cubs going up and overall anytime soon. I don't really know. Maybe Chris Bryant is our best chance. Uh, Nico Horner was going to be our best chance, but he's hurt. So I, don't, I really don't know, honestly. What I'd recommend you guys do is whatever team you guys uh, watch the most, pay attention, see who does the best, and then buy a lot of that card. You know, a lot of, just keep buying that card over and over again in the auction house if he's doing good in real life and he might grow up in overall. So that's my biggest tip for you guys. Uh, that's really all I have for you guys today. Uh, before we do shouts, I just want to say uh, I'm done with my high school season. My high school baseball season is over, so I'll actually be able to upload a lot now. So you're probably going to see videos like every other day from me. Uh, that's, that's my plan. I can't promise that, but that is my plan. And at this time, I should not have any problem doing that. All right? So uh, we're going to do our shouts today right now. In case you guys don't know, I do shouts in every single video. If you want to get shouted out, 
All you have to do is comment on this video, and I'll shout you out in the next video. All right? So here we go. Shoutouts on the last video. Go to um, Algen Tensor, Twizzy, Hunt Awakens, George Washington, and York Face. Thank you all so much for commenting on the last video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you all later. Stay safe for me, and peace out.